Success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. This quote by Winston Churchill I feel has the most correlation to my life and the person that I am today. So tonight I will be sharing with you guys how the way that I view failure has changed throughout the years and therefore has changed the way my life has been in the past, the present, and how it's shaping up my future. I consider myself as somebody who likes uh, to make the most out of myself to the best of my abilities and what will they have. I am an athlete and I am a student. I did uh, cross country and track throughout all my years of high school and did soccer for roughly five years before that. Starting my junior year, I started becoming a little bit more involved in school, took it a little bit more serious to see what exactly I would like to do in college and found that mathematics was by far my favorite subject. So I started associating myself with people who also liked mathematics and adopting some of their traits. So my, my next year in high school, my final year as a senior, I took a variety of AP courses to see exactly how the college material was gonna look like for certain classes. That way, if I have a bad experience, it happens in high school and not in college where having a bad grade could really affect myself in a negative way. So now that you know who I am, I would like to share with you all um, some of my skill sets and areas for growth. My skill sets definitely include um, my academic abilities in the STEM related areas of school and also athletic abilities. My areas of growth, I would still say it's that fear of failure because though I've been able to improve it a lot, I still feel like there's a lot, of, a lot of work left to do. I'm not perfect, obviously. So I still hope to be able to work on that. I have received many awards on sports, uh, including soccer, cross country and track, all my sports, both as a team and individually. I'm able to stand out amongst my peers in the math related courses. Uh, though I know it's just my first year of college and in the, in the past it was only high school, I still use that as motivation to continue to be good at what I'm doing and um, not become dismotivated when I find other students who are like way better than me. It, it encourages me to become as good as them. And this past summer, I got my first seasonal job, or actually my first job, which is a seasonal job. I use that as an opportunity to um, explain some of my weaknesses because I've always been a little bit scared of the workforce. I was like, I always thought to myself, what if I, it goes bad? I'm not gonna want a job again and it's gonna be bad. My life's gonna be bad, but um, it was really, it was a really good experience. So I'm glad I took that and definitely encouraged me to go out and find their, another job in the future whenever I need to. So now that you know what you can do, what I can do, I would like to share with you all um, where I'd like to go. I plan on transferring to a UC to pursue uh, mathematics, and I would also like to keep sports in my life for as long as I can. I'm on track to receive the appropriate amount of units and take the right prerequisite courses to be able to continue my math major in, uh, at the university level. I plan on returning to sports uh, once it went up I wasn't able to do cross country or track this year because everything got closed down due to COVID. And I feel like this class and my English learning courses will definitely be excellent opportunities to explain my weaknesses that I feel are um, uh, opening my, my thoughts to others and like expressing my feelings because I feel like that's not something I like to do. So I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit glad that I'm taking these classes because I not only because I have to, but because they'll serve as an excellent way to work on these weaknesses, hear feedback, and see what I can improve on. So to conclude, I feel like these are the main bits of information that make me me and unique, and maybe even different from others. I feel like my, my athletic abilities and academic ambition are what most people will remember about me and what I would like them to remember about me and was really surprised to hear this quote about, um, I mean, from Winston Churchill about how stumbling from failures with, while keeping your enthusiasm is real success. I really like that because I've been able to apply that to my life, even without knowing the quote, I've applied that, those same ideas to my life. And I feel like it's making me a better person by the day. And I really got to see, I'm really hoping to see um, where it'll take me in the future. That concludes my speech and thank you for listening.